Hey guys, what's up? It's Millie. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw an eye. I'm going to be using my iPad with my Apple Pencil to draw today, and I'm going to be showing you a time lapse of the drawing that I did. And I'm going to give you some tips every now and then to help you follow along better. So stick around because I'm going to show you how to paint an eye using Procreate. And don't worry if you don't have Procreate. It really doesn't matter what you're using, and it doesn't matter if you spend money to paint. I will eventually get to making a tutorial on how to paint an eye traditionally. Let's uh, get painting. So one of the first things I'm doing is putting down the shape of the iris and then I'm drawing the outline of the eye and placing down kind of landmarks of where I want things to be such as the tear duct, the upper eyelid, and the kind of below crease that some people have. And our rough sketch is perfectly fine. I also go in with an eraser to erase some of the harsher lines that I don't want. And then I put down a base color that I'm going to be putting all my other colors on top of. So I start by putting shadows and then I put highlights. And as you can see right there, I put a transparency mask on my outlines and I turned them brown and green to match more with the painting and the iris. I also merged the two layers together so I could draw over them. Um, I suggest that you make a duplicate of the sketch layer and then merge one of the layers just in case you make a mistake. So right there you can see that I am adding red to this painting to add more of a um, more tone. And this whole process that I'm doing right now is really just putting down colors where I want them to go not really focusing too much on shape or you know precision this is more about getting the colors down and what colors i want to blend with the brush that i'm using while painting this is mostly a, a hard or medium airbrush and sometimes a soft brush and then i'm using a kind of line art tool to do the finer lines and this is kind of where i start refining it a little bit instead of having the big blocks of color that I was having before, I start going in and defining more the section of colors. Anytime that you're not happy with an eye color or any color in general, just remember that it's probably not gonna be the final color. Right there, I just work on the eye some more and put in more colors. It's very important to add highlights to your art because it helps add more contrast to your artwork. So you can see around the corners of eyes and on the eyelid and right underneath the crease is where it seems to have the most highlight. I'm also adding a shadow above the upper lid to kind of make it seem like it curves down, like rolls underneath so the lid kind of has depth instead of just kind of stopping where the eye starts. So there you can kind of see that I added a purpley berry color because this just adds to more of the tone in your painting. You don't want to use all of the same color, the same shade of a color. It just makes your drawing lack a little bit of depth and makes it feel two dimensional. Because when you look at faces, you can see that there are different colors beyond like pale orange or beige or brown. There's more like highlights from the light around it or there's gonna be, you know, blue or purple pigments in people's skin, either from like veins or just shadows. So here you can see I add more of a red tone. Like I said, I was adding more color to add more tone. When you want to add shadows, you're not just going to want to make it a darker version of the color that you're already using. So if you're using a yellowish color as your highlight, you're going to want to use a darker red as your um, shadow to kind of make it seem more alive, more full, instead of very flat. So 
So here you can see me adding kind of a blue tone to the eye. And depending on what lighting it is, eyes aren't perfectly white. They're kind of grayish pink and they're not very bright. They are reflective, but they're not as white as people think they are. So here you can see me going in with like a detail brush, uh, kind of an edge control brush, you could say. And it kind of keeps the edges and then tapers off and creates a gradient of color on the other side. And I get really detailed with this brush and I go in and then I kind of blend it in to add more texture to the drawing. So I add little lines and then I blend it in and I add more lines and I blend that in. And I kind of use that brush on the eye to create the different stripes. And though it looks really unnatural now, the more you blend it in with each other, it starts to look better. I'm using that brush everywhere, that same brush that I, I think I use like a total of three brushes over this entire drawing. So I don't use a lot. I, I kind of keep it simple. You don't need a lot of diverse brushes. You just need a good smudge tool and a few select brushes that are really good for whatever drawing that you're trying to do. You don't need to go crazy. So now I'm implementing the highlights, and this is creating a nice shadow everywhere, a nice contrast in the eye. It kind of like pops out more instead of feeling like a flat image. So you're gonna wanna add these, these small details of highlights and uh, highlights everywhere, like the highest points of your artwork, you're gonna wanna add highlight. I'm working on the eye a little bit more, the iris, adding more color. I'm adding pink tones everywhere to kind of add more of that tone variation I was talking about. And there you can see I am adding a highlight to the eye and I'm kind of following the curve of the eye. And then I kind of shade over it so it kind of isn't totally blinding white. And then I add the reflection of the eyelashes in that because when there's a reflection on the eye, a lot of times you can get the reflection of the eyelashes in that. When you're drawing the eyelashes, you're gonna remember that eyelashes don't go straight up. They follow a curve and they're coming kind of towards you. So the bottom part is gonna look a little bit shorter and like flatter, then it kind of curves up. You're gonna wanna have to imagine like how if you have a curved object, like a U and you see it from the side, it kind of only looks like a straight line. So it's kind of like that. You kind of turn that U a little bit and it starts to look like a curve. You start to see the U once you start turning it. So obviously eyelashes look straight from when you're looking at them straight on, but you're not always looking at eyelashes straight on. Here you can see me adding veins to the eye. And so what I did is I put it in a blend layer and I just used a pink brush to kind of add the veins underneath and I blended it in with that layer. Here you can see me going in with a big soft airbrush and kind of adding more shadow. It 
it's very important to add contrast to like all parts of the drawing adding more shadow and adding more highlight to kind of make your drawing feel more three-dimensional having a big bunch of like flat colors is good for certain styles but if you're trying to go for realistic you're going to want to have to have that that contrast being able to tell that something has depth because the goal is to not make your drawing look flat like it could be real so basically at the end of this video all i'm doing is uh, minor details everywhere i go in and i add more lashes and make it look fuller looking and at this point you just want to tweak the drawing to make it look more how you want it's never going to look perfect to anybody but tweaking it is good and that's the final drawing that's the video thank you for dropping by i really appreciate it if you made it this far and i really hope that i taught you something and you've learned something new and maybe you'll be able to draw that eye that you've always wanted to draw if you end up liking this video or think it's useful don't be shy to subscribe but there's gonna be plenty of more content on learning how to draw as well as tons of other stuff and i think it's gonna be a great little family that i got going on here and I would be more than happy if you joined me. So, I'm just saying, we're gonna have a lot of fun on the art channel.